All right, what's up, boxing fans? It's Aztec 101. Uh, for most of you, I guarantee you're probably not going to give a fuck about this topic, but I'm only going to talk about it because I see it's getting views. It's <laughs> pretty much it. But tomorrow, there's going to be uh, another YouTuber fight event where you have Logan Paul versus uh, Dylan Dennis and then KSI versus Tommy Fury. And um, I'm... I'm not really interested in this fight or these two fights. I, I, if I am interested in one of them, I'm curious to see the KSI versus Tommy Fury, which I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I think the main event in this fight is Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. I have absolutely zero interest in that fight. Neither of them are boxers. This is going to be sloppy. It's going to be boring. No one's getting knocked out. Um, so I have absolutely no interest. I just, I, I honestly believe that this fight's gonna be a, a sleeper. It'll be sloppy, um, probably a lot of holding. Uh, Logan Paul is not Jake Paul. Jake Paul can actually land clean shots. He's, he's clean with his punches. He's got good hand speed. He's got um, deceptive power uh, and some boxing skills. You know, I, I actually do, I have been enjoying Jake Paul's fight, uh, you know, for someone who's just coming out of YouTube, coming out of nowhere and, and stepping into the ring, he's he's really interesting. Kind of like how I feel about Salt Papi, who's also on this card, um, also has uh, talent, he's, he's got talent, you know, maybe if you, they would have invested the early part of their uh, childhood into training, they probably would be great fighters, but... They're picking this up now, and, and it's fun and entertaining. Logan Paul, on the other hand, I, I don't know. I, I I struggled with the with the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fight, um, and you know the, the the fights that he did with KSI, they were a sloppy mess. So I I, I have a feeling that. This is going to be the same thing. Really, the only thing that's selling this fight, and I'm kind of surprised that this is the angle that is being used to sell the fight. Because the only reason why people are selling the fight, or watching the fight, probably because Dylan Dennis has been going around calling Logan Paul's wife a whore. Now, me personally, I don't give a fuck about whether Logan Paul married a whore or not. But I'm starting to notice a lot of these young youtuber kids the kids that follow the whole youtube scene um this is enough for them to want to buy the fight and <laughs> i don't know me personally this is some um, weird celebrity tabloid beef type shit i remember when i was young um women were the ones that were always into who's so and so dating Oh, did you hear about so-and-so dating so-and-so? And, -so? and did you hear so-and-so got married to so-and-so? That type of shit was really only talked about <laughs> by women. And now I see a bunch of dudes on the internet giving a fuck about, you know, who married a whore. And uh, to be honest, I don't give a shit. I think the whole setup of the fight is corny. Um... I mean, it, it's just corny, the concept, the idea that Dylan Dennis has a file on his computer with Logan Paul's fiance with different men, and then he's uplo uploading that every day. And then, I mean, he's doing it every day, but the fact that people on the internet care, that's the part where I'm like, God damn, man, this is, um, I, I don't know, this is like... It's new to me. I, I, to me, it's a reflection of of how kind of things have changed with the internet. The things that used to not, you know, we used to not care about, I guess now make headlines. So Logan Paul has, I think his fiance has a lawsuit against Dylan, and and that whole thing is the reason why people want to see the fight. The fight's gonna be boring, regardless of all that drama. It's gonna be bullshit. So, to me, not a good enough reason to buy the fight, not a good enough reason to give a fuck about the fight, enough to pay for it, but that's you guys. If you guys are interested in that, you guys uh, enjoy. <laughs>
enjoy. Um, KSI versus Tommy Fury, that I'm a little bit more interested in that only because I'm kind of happy that Tommy Fury was, you know, is able to find an angle here because he's not going to be in some big time pay per view unless he's using the Fury name. I don't see him reaching the top 10 in any of the divisions that he would fit in. So, um, the fact that he's actually part of a co main event. Um, with the YouTuber, this is kind of the only angle that he has to be able to sell a pay-per-view. Uh, you know, if he went up against the top 10 in, in light heavyweight, cruiserweight, heavyweight, I don't see him talented enough to, to stay in the top 10, okay? Uh, I might be wrong, but with this, it's a little bit interesting. Um, KSI... It's not like he's a great boxer, but he's very athletic and you can kind of tell that he has power and he's wild. He's a wild puncher. He just swings wild. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that fight to be fun to watch, uh, but to a certain degree. You know, we're not going to see two professionals fighting. We're going to see um, one professional pretty much tire out the YouTuber and... Uh, I see KSI throwing some big punches, hopefully where everyone's going to be sitting at the edge of their seat, praying that he lands something. I doubt that he will, um, and it, it'll just be a decision. I, I don't know how many rounds they're doing this for, but it doesn't matter. It's, this is These are not the fights to watch tomorrow. You know, if you guys are not boxing, if you ran into this video, you're not a boxing fan, but you're going to watch the Logan Paul and uh, Dylan Dennis, Dylan, fucking, even the name Dylan is fucking annoying, dude, even the name Dylan, I just imagine he drinks monsters, and when they're empty, he smashes them with his head, um, fucking, that's something Dylan would do, you know, seems like the type of guy that rollerblades to work, fucking something that Dylan would do, you know, I, I, I don't like the name Dylan, it irritates me, um, but, you got Logan Paul versus Dylan. I think Logan Paul might get a decision. I don't know who gives a fuck. Um, and then the KSI Tommy Fury. I think Tommy Fury should be able to outbox um, KSI into a boring decision. Um, he might end up getting a knock. Um, and other than that, if you guys are gonna see this fight, enjoy. If you wanna see real boxing, Tim Zhu will be fighting Brian Mendoza and I'm gonna be posting up a prediction video on that fight later on today or tonight, later on tonight. So um, if you guys want to watch, watch Tim Zhu versus Brian Mendoza instead. If you wanna see a real fight or stream the Logan Paul bullshit and actually watch and pay for the Tim Zoo fight. Uh, this is Aztec 101 in the ring. Uh, you guys can leave in the comment section who you think is going to win, but does it really matter? No. All right. Aztec 101 in the ring. I'm out.